Hello everyone and welcome to Balsa Model Flight Sim, the Early Access Edition. This is no longer the open beta. There is a, still a testing version, but this is the full regular release version. Well, I shouldn't say full. It's still Early Access. It's still 0.32.27.63. I have paid for the program. We are going to see how it works and I'm not going to do career this time. We're going to start out this time doing sandbox so I learn more about the parts. And so we're going to start game. Uh, frankly, the career uh, see it is uh, considered a fresh version because it's no longer a testing version, and so. But I'll skip the. Tu oh, let's do the tutorial. I didn't actually record myself doing the tutorial last time, so uh, I'll go through the tutorial, even though I've done some stuff before. Okay, so it gives you a model plane, and pick it up, and hold shift to increase throw force, or I could. Throttle up probably, maybe, no. I had to do my controls again. I'll just hold shift like it says. Aim slightly upward and throw. Whoa, I stalled. It stalled. Angle of attack stall. Okay. Surface snapped off. Not a graceful landing. Well, what are the chances we'd have a graceful landing? Uh head over to the workshop okay I can leave the plane where it is all right okay this is where we can design and modify vehicles we can look around yes doesn't look very well balanced we can make some changes to improve weight distribution add a sec extra section of fuselage to make the nose longer okay Delete it, and now add a new fuselage, plop it in, a new nose, plop it there. I seem to recall having to rotate the parts the first time I did it, so I think they changed the tutorial already. Okay, light. Okay, maybe a little bit. Okay, oh, oh, we bounced. Okay. Fairing snapped off. Didn't realize we had a fairing. Still have no control of the plane. Yep. Oh, I guess I don't have to actually go back to the vehicle. Hey, okay, control surfaces. Alright. Are smart enough to know how they should respond to your flight inputs where they're placed. Okay, well, that joystick works. All right. I would like some ailerons, but all right, let's just run with it. Radio transmitter comes up into view. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, no, that's too much lift. Uh, okay, I don't have any roll control. Uh, uh, I do have a rudder, though, apparently. No, oh, oh, not enough speed. Uh, oh, I still crashed. Okay. Okay. I already fired the vehicle off. They might need to actually let me repair it. Mm, where's the marked area? I think I messed up the whole thing. Walk to the marked location. Not here, surely. Okay. Mm, I think they aren't letting me repair it. Let me go in here and see. Will they let me go in here? Whoa, whoa, that was a loud sound. Fly. Okay, but it's got a nose cone, so... Get as much flight time as possible, fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Could you let me put ailerons on it though? Oop. Still a fairing snapped off the nose. 
Okay, so that's the tutorial. Build and fly sandbox. It doesn't still have my plane from the other version, so we'll we'll have to start from scratch. But we have full freedom. So let's see how this all works out. That looks very convincing. I mean, that doesn't seem to fit it, that doesn't seem to fit it. Adaptive fuselage. Well, I guess that'll work. Ooh, that's a weird slant for the fuselage. No, how about, uh, do we have an adaptive nose cone? I mean, I guess we could have a section of adaptive fuselage here and then put that cone there. Shall we go with a pusher prop again? I mean, why not? But we'll have just a single pusher. I don't even understand how this mounts. Yeah, I didn't want internal view, but it put me in internal view for some reason. Yeah, let's let's go with the small one. The Wurabi. We have learned from the open beta to put our battery in front. If quad propeller is the best we can do, then quad propeller is the best we can do. Gosh, it sticks out though. Uh, can we tuck that in? Can we have it like that? I hope so. I hope that does not cause problems. We won't be able to directly reach the engine though, but maybe it'll be better protected. So where is our center of mass? It's still, uh, well, because we put it in the nose cone, it's still really far forward. So we really don't need a uh, very rear wing. Something is wing sweep, right? There we go. And now, aero st it's all still aero stability. We have to bring the center of lift out. Oh, no, I still wanted that. It doesn't go into negative sweep. Interesting. Let's say we put that a little bit further back and then try a canard. Wow, that center of mass and center of lift are really close together. And the center mass is off to one side again. That seems to happen for some reason. Nice stability though. Jeez, no matter how far back I put this wing, the center of lift just... Are you sure about that? <laughs> Um, okay, but I want control surfaces. Ah, but it's still tilted. Okay, we'll do wingtip vertical stabilizers and try that. Uh, that's really close, but then again, it's showing some good stability, sorta. Um, it's pretty bad under... 70 kilometers per hour though and above it um all right well it looks like this has to be further back than i thought it was going to end up being oh now at least the center of lift is actually moving with it the center of lift probably shouldn't be that far back if there's this much wing in front and there's only that little wing in the back right right But I'll just optimize for what it's telling me. Let's say we'll optimize for lower speeds. I don't want to go past 100, let's say. So that we can have a slow landing speed. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll take that. So it knows that's yaw. It knows those are roll. Okay, and those that's mostly pitch. All right, and the center of lift sure moves forward. And if we go faster, it's the biggest frustration now. Trying to get a plane that works well at slow speeds and at fast speeds. Okay, but we do need landing gear.
we can put a central wheel now because in sandbox we have that unlocked as usual the wheels just don't like attaching right I guess I'll just use the rotate tool to figure them out. We need clearance for the prop. That's nah, not a whole lot, but it'll do for now. I don't know, nothing about it makes me feel super happy, but we'll give it a go. After all, it's, it's all for free right now. So, pusher one, let's call it. But over here, out here, it's not really changing the throttle. Oh, now it is. Okay, okay. I just had to... Alright. Here goes nothing. Oh, I can't control it. It, it wasn't controllable. Okay... Just repair. But hold on, let me test. Okay, now it's that's that moves it entirely. Let's go back in. So okay, if I pull up, okay, that's yaw. That's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine, and that's roll. Well, okay, so controls are fine. Now, one time with the open beta, I had a some sort of out of bounds issue where that issue caused me to not be able to control the plane. And I'm wondering if there's some sort of mesh out of bounds issue here too. But let's moderate our thrust here. It doesn't seem Okay, can I just take off with it? Oh, it's reversed. That would be a problem. I have to, I forgot to tell it it's a pusher prop. Oh, well, that would be a f one big problem. Pusher prop. Okay. Now that center of lift is looking sort of far forward there. And it gets worse at higher speeds. I'll just move that back. I mean, that's how planes normally look anyway. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see if we can... Uh, it's not pulling up. Oh, it moved a bit, but it wasn't pulling up. I mean, it seems to be doing what I wanted to do like this. Those are, in fact, the controls. Oh, oh, oh now I've got control. Figure that one out. Now what about the views? Okay. Very roll rolly. It's very rolly, but it it's sort of stiff in rolls, so that's not too bad. In other words, it sticks to where it ought to be very well. But, can I get to a decent landing speed? Uh, I can't pull up right now, so that's... Too slow for our... Controls. Uh, well, I mean, could have been worse. Okay, is it gonna? Well, that 
<laughs> That's that landing gear. Is it gonna be consistent about working now? Seems that way. I really don't like the camera most of the time though. I just want to make a nice landing. Oh. Oh. Refueling and reloading interrupted? I don't know what it means by that, but I think, uh... I think we landed, though. I overshot by quite a lot. Hey, can we take off though? I don't think we can taxi, but... Uh, that's not a whole lot of clearance. Let's try it. Oh... Oh... We made it! We made it! Oh god, there's a building! Oh, oh, oh... Right. Okay, so we've got a thing that sort of works, but it's not exactly uh, a record breaker here. But I guess I should get more practice with it before getting too enthusiastic. So we'll try again to take off and everything. Oh, 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 oh no! Taking off did not work very well that time. I wonder why. Okay, hold on, I'll try and take off again. I've got pull up with all force, okay. Pulling up with all force is the way to go for takeoff. There's that one pier that pier runway there. Maybe we should try for that. Oh, 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 ah! Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> it's so hard sometimes. Okay, alright. Let's, maybe we should try and make something bigger though. Yeah, okay. I've done a lot of pusher props. Let's uh, retain the wings for a sec here, and those, and let's have a big cargo master kind of thing. We're gonna have not that propeller, uh, the propeller, yes, the engine, no. What I want is the gas one. I want fuel and everything. What, what's going on here? Maybe I should start all over. Okay, fine. It seems very confused. It actually seems stuck right now. Uh-oh, I've, I've broken the thing. I think. Can't do any of these other things. Okay, I'm gonna restart. Okay, I have reloaded, and we are going to try and build something big, like I was about to say. And I want to put the gas generator, not gas generator, <laughs> that's a totally different thing. Gas engine, I, oh, let's have a full, full cabin sort of deal. Clone part. Ah, why did it go upside down, though? Yep, uh, when I clone it, it goes automatically upside down. Uh, do we have a... I like this whole flug pod type gear, but I don't think it's going to have enough clearance. Um, maybe we should pass on that. What is this gear pod like? That's for like a... 
Oh, you know, that's like, there there are planes like that. Like they, what was it, Aero Commander or something like that. It has a nose like that. Not quite a flat front like that, but that's not bad. Hmm. Eh, not exactly the look I would go for. Maybe, is this fairing of this? Okay, you are a, what? I can't right click and find out? Okay, fine. Type B. Type B Bay Fuselage. Oh, drop. Now, well, we can get to that some other time. Uh, B. Those are the only Type B things. But that's a Type B Fuselage. Maybe I. Oh, we can't even sort by name or anything. Type B Streamlined Fairing. So, does that fit this? Yeah, well, that's a bit too streamlined. I would like to streamline a little bit less than that. Um, okay, that, that makes me feel a little bit better. So, we'll have this Type B fuselage, Type B fairing, and the center of mass is there. We're going to have the center of mass be pretty far back then, because I'm going to put the fuel tank in this section here. Oh, we can't, it doesn't seem to want to later the fuel tanks. Maybe I should put them on the walls so that... One on one wall there and another on this wall here. Now it does mean that as the tanks drain, the center mass is going to move. In theory. Oh. Apparently not. Yeah, the center mass doesn't move. Interesting. It's not telling the truth, is it? <laughs> uh... Nope, it's not telling the truth. Uh, unless the fuel does not have any mass. These wayward parts apparently can't get picked up. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Um, let's call this the Arrow Star for a sec before I continue. Save. And I'm gonna reload it so that we don't have those junk parts lying around. I can't rotate. I can't rotate my view. Hmm. No, don't no, quit to me menu. Can I just go outside? Oh, there we go. Now I can rotate my view. Interesting. Okay. Time for aerodynamics. Gonna go for a nice high wing plane. Very big span, and we'll put the engines on the wings. Uh, span is already 100%. Okay. Hmm. Can we put more wing on the edge of another wing? Yeah, it doesn't fit great, but... And I'll just use those outer pieces for the vertic uh, horizontal stabilizer. We will want more than 10 claw. I know I haven't put the engine on, but for reference, we want more than that. Okay, well, we have no controls, but this doesn't look particularly stable, does it? <laughs> I think it's the fuel tank in the back again. Uh, all right, well, that's better. That's much better. So, we kept the wing very, very straight, game. <laughs> Can we make it easy to put the control surfaces, please? Oh, maybe because part rotation was not on... Oh, I need symmetry. The part rotation, manual, automatic. And I want symmetry. Okay, maybe I had it on not automatic rotation last time. Pitch, yes, that is exactly what that should be doing. Uh, we might have to rotate them manually. Maybe that, that we'll use the other nacelles. That's that's what we want. 
And engine wise, not weapons. We want this putt master, right? Alright, I'll just manually rotate it. Gosh darn it. Is it safe to make it upside down? Or sideways? Sideways is probably stylish. I don't know whether it's safe or not, but we're gonna try it. Okay. And propellers, of course. Well, hopefully that'll work out. We still don't have main landing gear, but we've got plenty of places to put it. Interesting, I thought I put the landing gear attached to engine nacelle. No idea what it's actually attached to. Well, moving the wing does not seem to affect our aerodynamics. <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like a plane to me. It looks like an expensive plane, so that's why we're not going to be doing it in career for... Well, actually, 588's not too bad, huh? Hmm. We haven't put seats in or anything. Smogomatic might be a thing later on. Action figures. We certainly have room. Okay. But let's, it's, it's a little bit iffy looking at it. Let's see how it flies. Let's actually try and take off and everything. Hmm? Oh, 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 oh. Um, maybe we should have one counter rotating. Uh, my throttle doesn't seem to be working now. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I've taken off. <laughs> Whoa, oh. Signal lost. Oh, no. Okay, so that's what happens. It's still... flying, I guess? I hear it. It's still going pretty fast. Vertical speed is down, it's going down, it's going down. The altitude's going down. It bounced? Retrieve you. Ah. Repair. Okay, we'll have to keep it in range. Let's see if we can take off from the runway this time. I don't know what happens with this thing. No, um, it really likes to turn on us. Okay, that's not very helpful. How do I get both engines to start? Okay, maybe I should have it at very low throttle when I start the engines and wait. Yep, that's the plan. Okay, here we go. You're off. That is some noise though. How fast can we go? I think there's a... So there's an imposed limit of 150 kilometers per hour. That is the absolute maximum you can go apparently. Which sort of kills some of the fun. But we don't have a lot of space. I can't pull up. I can't pull up. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Well, I landed on the runway. Okay. Uh, let's repair. Uh, it sort of flies. We were just going too slow. I think I'll save further examination of this and other planes for a subsequent video. For now, I think we'll leave it here. We've had some interesting flights. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.